subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Fal, the masterpiece of engineering, the state of the art, is a result of finest efforts of aerospace biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering helps the pilot to tackle problems from hypoxia at higher altitudes and pressure to G-force to increasing flight time. This all has been possible due to advanced aerospace biomedical engineering which is implemented in reform. Now let's see the different biomedical technologies used in Rafal. Onboard oxygen generation system. The Rafal is being fitted with onboard oxygen generation system. As we go higher up in the atmosphere, the concentration of oxygen reduces. Oxygen or the gaseous oxygen was a limiting fact factor for the mission. Oxygen generation system is also used in hospitals. The same technology is used in airplane for the generation of O2. From the diagram, we can see the working. Positive pressure breathing for G. Humans have been adapted to zero G conditions, that is the land conditions, but at a higher altitude, a different G profile pilot can suffer from G loss, loss of consciousness during aircraft maneuvers. Here is the representation of the lung tidal volume. Red arrow are the muscle contraction and blue is the air which is going. When the inner pressure is higher than the atmosphere, exhalation occurs. Note, P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 according to gas laws. Thus, if pressure reduces, the volume has to increase and also energy always flows from higher potential to lower potential. For inhalation, we need positive pressure for the alveoli to open for better gaseous exchange. G-suit A G-suit or the anti juice suit is a flight suit which pilot wears to prevent the blackout or g lock that is lost of consciousness caused by blood pooling in the lower parts of the body under acceleration, which makes the brain deprived of blood resulting in blackout and g lock that is loss of consciousness. The G-suit have capability of in inflatable bladders which prevents the draining of the blood away from the brain. The principle is same that of the tunicate used in surgery. It is equipped with G-sensing valves and pressure regulators. You can see the pilot is wearing endodermal sensor on the wrist, ECG acquisition belt at the chest and the G-suit. Understand the effect of G-forces and the altitude. Let's see the simulation of a simulator which give the pilot the acceleration from 0G to 9G. Here we can observe G loss. From this simulation, we can observe the reason why G-suit and positive pressure bathing is used. Test monitoring is implemented by ECG sensors, EOG, pupil diameter, measurement, electrodermal sensor. From the diagram, we can see how the pupil diameter is measured for measuring the amount of stress on pilot. The Rafale has man-machine interface which has 29 degree tilted seats to prevent from G-forces also, it has same optical distance and head-up display and HOTA's hands-on throttle and stick with touchscreen. That was all for Rafal. Keep watching Diagnotherapy.